next let's talk about a, just a brief about what cucm is a cucm is, is for unified communications manager mm -hmm. earlier it was called call manager which is actually not true now because it just does not provide you call control service but a lot more than that right so it's called a communications manager you can do a lot of things with that you can provide routing using your communication manager itself you can create route patterns yeah you can create sip trunk or ccp trunk or gateway configuration you can make your cucm as a dhcp server also you, you can do create a dhcp server within your cucm you can do, do it a uh, tftp configuration here dns configuration here right so now it's called communication manager earlier uh, we used to had a call manager a device itself which, which was called call manager which was used for call control only okay so then later we moved to this with a lot of advanced features integrated to it and now it's called Cisco unified communications manager then to connect to the cucm if we see we have an end device let's say this is our uh, end device let's say 8000 series of phone it has an extension number 2001 then we have another, let's say this is a Jabber soft phone. Yeah. And this or uh, a Dex, Dex phone. And it has an extension of 2002. 2001 needs to make a communication to 2002 here. So what will happen? This will send a request to the CUCM. CUCM will check that because the destination is this extension, if that is registered on that CUCM. So if it is registered, it will send the request to 2002 to make this that communication from the end device to the CUCM a protocol called SIP is used. SIP is session initiation protocol. Okay. This is used to make communication from the end devices to the CUCM also to send their uh, telephony configuration all the TFTP files that is uh, all the information that is sent from the CUCM to the end devices okay. or to register the devices everything. That is done using the SIP protocol, session initiation protocol. Now, as soon as the CUCM will forward this request to 2002, and now 2001 and 2 are now connected to each other, that's where the SIP connection gets disconnected and the phones are connected end to end using RTP, real time transport protocol. So, as an example, it's like when you see a boxing match. <laughs> so in a boxing match, what is the role of referee? Just, just the referee comes in, the two players are standing and the referee says, okay, these are the rules and now mm -hmm. you can box, play, each other. Just box and then he steps back, right? Mm -hmm. Sa same way, the CUCM, what it does is it hears the request from one user, it'll say, okay, what do you want to do? You want to connect to this user? Okay, I know him, let me call him. So you'll bring both of them together and then just make a connection between them and step back. So that SIP connection gets disconnected and the phones get connected to each other directly that uh, through the RTP communication, RTP protocol, real-time transfer. Okay. So this is how it works. Then the, when the CUCM has to send a call, which let's say uh, 2002 is not registered on CUCM, it is somewhere outside on the PSTM here, let's say. So then the CUCM will see that, okay, it is not registered on me, but I know that it is somewhere outside. So I'll have to send it to my gateway, right? So to send it to the gateway, mm -hmm. we have a gateway device, which is a router, right? So the, to make communication with the gateway, the protocols used are NGCP, H323, or SIP. So these are some protocols that you need to know that wait in, at what point, what protocol is being used. So from end device to the CUCM, exchange of any information is done through SIP. Okay. Communication between end devices is through RTP. Okay. Communication from CUCM to the gateway is through NGCP, H323, or SIP protocols. 